Hey everybody, this is the second Sega Genesis game lot that I'm going to be posting here on YouTube for sale on eBay. If you are here, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. But without any further ado, I'm going to be selling a bunch of Genesis games in the lot on eBay and we're going to go over everything that is in the lot. So some of the games are cart only, some have a case, some have a manual, some are missing a manual. So we'll go over everything one by one starting with the loose cart games. So to start off with, we have Spider-Man. And I believe this is the animated series version of Spider-Man. There were a few different Spider-Man games that had the Spider-Man name. So just take a look at the cartridge cover and you'll see exactly which game it is. Sticking with the Marvel uh, theme here, we have X-Men. X-Men is an awesome platformer. Uh, you get to play as Wolverine, Cyclops, uh, Nightcrawler. It's one of the cooler ones. I think X-Men 2 Clone Wars was the more popular one, but this is the one that's going to be included in this lot. Again, this is cart only. Uh, the next one is a fighting game uh, called Primal Rage. A lot of people like this game for the graphics. I didn't really like it too much. I know, I think there was a version of it on the Sega Saturn as well. Uh, but yeah, this is Primal Rage on the Sega Genesis. This is an awesome game. Uh, from Electronic Arts that I enjoyed, Road Rash 2. In Road Rash 2, you go into different motorcycle races. You could punch people. You could grab a bat or a chain and hit them off their motorcycles. And the more races you won, the more money you get. You get better motorcycles, all types of stuff. Fun times with this game I've had in the past. The next game, <laughs> I believe, was a 7-up game, but I'm not sure. It's called Cool Spot. Cool Spot, you play as this little red uh, character called Cool Spot. Um, it's a platformer, basically, and you, you collect things and you beat up enemies. It's actually a really fun game, one of the best on the Genesis. Not very valuable, but still very fun to play. This next one is a bit of a compilation. It's called Six Pack. And so there are six games in the Six Pack. There's Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Sonobi, Columns, and Super Hang On. So this game alone, this cartridge has six games in it, which is which is pretty darn cool, I think. And yeah, so it's like a compilation cartridge, six in one. The next game is actually one put out by Sega, Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic 3D Blast, I believe was also released for the Sega CD and maybe even the Sega Saturn. It's a 3D Sonic the Hedgehog game. It's different than Sonic 3. It's not Sonic 3. Sonic 3D Blast. Next, we're gonna go over games that at least have something else included. So we have this reproduction, uh, I guess you could say, case, and the game that it has inside is Altered Beast. Altered Beast is a very fun action game. Uh, this is a conversion from an arcade game, I believe, and it does come with a manual, but the manual has writing on it. Again, these were old. They were owned by kids. Uh, it's also a bit broken in the back. It has. It looks like it was wet at one time. But the information of the manual is still good. You can still read it and there's still artwork in there. So yeah, I use the manual as a cover here. And so that is going to be included in this game lot as well. Uh, the next game is an MTV classic, Beavis and Butthead. I believe there was a movie recently released for Beavis and Butthead, but you can see the condition here. Uh, the cover is not in the best condition. It does have a little bit of a issue there. Uh, the manual and the game do look amazing though. So yeah, Beavis and Butthead MTV game for the Sega Genesis. Uh, the next game, and this is for people who love Sega mascots, Alex Kidd. <laughs> Alex Kidd, I believe, was very popular on the Sega Master System, but this is Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle for the Sega Genesis, the one player game, and we'll see what it comes with. Unfortunately, there is no manual for this one, but there is a game, <laughs> which is very fun and cool to know. Okay, the next game we're going to go over is X Mutants. X Mutants is an amazing platform game. I actually beat this game here on my YouTube channel, you can see that playthrough. I guess I'll link it in the description as well. I actually played this cartridge and beat this game, uh, which is crazy fun. Unfortunately, it does not come with a manual, but it does come with the cartridge. And 
Yeah, X Mutant, I think it was based off a comic book that I don't think was that popular. Um, and in the end, you beat this bad guy called Sluggo. Not an easy game, but uh, the more you play, the better you get. There's two characters you play, a guy and a girl, and they're both uh, featured here on the front cover. The next game is a fighting game, and for those that like DC, uh, you might enjoy this. This is Justice League Task Force. Now, this is not one of the best fighting games on the system, unfortunately. But if you like DC, you know, uh, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, all those characters, they're in this game. I believe Aquaman is also in this game, too. Uh, backgrounds include Gotham City, Metropolis, basically a, a lot of, uh, you know, places that are popular in the DC Universe, put out by Sunsoft and Acclaim. Another game uh, for this system, this is more of a how you could say maybe I would describe this as a puzzle game perhaps this is Marble Madness Marble Madness by E Electronic Arts Electronic Arts put out a bunch of games on these funky looking cartridges unfortunately there is no manual here but the game is included and you can see it's one of the cartridges that has the yellow tab that was one of the ways you knew that a game was published by Electronic Arts a lot of sports games published by them had that yellow tab. So Marble Madness is a fun game. Try to get the marble to the end of the area, I guess you would say, without breaking it, without having it fall off the platforms. Pretty fun. Okay, we're coming down to the wire. There's only five games left. I guess uh, we're gonna go with this one. Ren and Stimpy, uh, Nickelodeon. I don't know how Nickelodeon put out this cartoon. Very adult themes in the cartoon, but the fun is in the game. There's a lot of fun in this game. It's a platformer. You play as both Ren and Stimpy, and they both have um, certain attacks, like a spitting attack, a flying attack, and this is Stimpy's invention. So to get the good ending, you have to find all of the pieces uh, throughout the levels of Stimpy's invention. So very fun Ren and Stimpy Nickelodeon game on the Sega Genesis. Oh, wait, I haven't opened it, so you don't know what it comes with. It does have a manual and the game. Unfortunately, the manual is in really rough shape. The cover of the manual is coming off. And it looks like all the pages of the manual are still there. But again, really, really rough shape. And the cover of the manual is just its just torn uh, to, to shreds, unfortunately. Game is in there. And it does have the artwork and the case. But the last few are pretty heavy hitters. Um, I guess... We'll go with the two fighting games next. So this one was originally put out for the Neo Geo. It's Samurai Showdown. This was uh, reprogrammed by Takara for the Sega Genesis. And yeah, Samurai Showdown. What can I say? A fighting game uh, originally released on the Neo Geo. I think there were something like 12 characters in here. Um, if you've ever played... Uh, Capcom vs SNK, some of the characters in this game are in that game. Uh, all the characters have some kind a, of weapon, like a sword or knives or something like that. And yeah, fun time for two player fighting. So for Samurai Showdown, if you open it up, uh, this is not an original manual. This manual was printed out and when I received it, it was already printed out, this game, this manual. And the pages are not in order, but all the information from the manual is in there, so you will get this. Um, but you basically are buying it for the cover work and the book, uh, the game that's included. Uh, so the next game on this list is Mortal Kombat 2. Unfortunately, the case does have this uh, sticker residue, which you might have to get off uh, with Gugan if you want to remove it. Um, does have the case, and if we open up the game, it has an original receipt, which you will get. The manual looks to be intact, although there are a few folds in it, and you do get the Mortal Kombat 2 game. Uh, this game was put out by Acclaim, which put out a lot of awesome games on the Sega Genesis, and it's also rated Mature 17. Uh, the first Mortal Kombat had a huge issue because of the blood. I remember on the Super Nintendo, they did not allow the blood uh, to be shown. I think I don't know which Mortal Kombat game it is, but one of them you have to put in the code to get the blood in red, and it sparked this huge controversy. There are fatalities in this game, uh, all types of cool stuff. If you like, you know, Sonya Blade, Sub Zero, 
you have to have Mortal Kombat. And these are all included in the same video game lot. All right. The next game I loved to play. I think this was my sister's uh, growing up. But eventually uh, it was in my possession. Here you go. Chuck Rock 2. The Son of Chuck. This is the sequel to Chuck Rock. And I like this game so much. The graphics are goofy and cartoony and funny. When the baby dies, I remember it crying. You collect little candies for points. Chuck Rock 2. It's a fun, fun game. It doesn't come with a manual, but you do get the cartridge. And just to see the artwork on the back, that's what's included. The last game is a classic uh, Sega Genesis game. And I don't think any Sega Genesis collection is complete without it. It's Kid Chameleon on the Sega Genesis. You do get the artwork. This this cover actually has the tab. A lot of them don't. The tabs have either broken off of the ears just because, uh, you know, from bending back and forth, they do uh, fall out or some people cut them off because it's easier to store. These tabs were so that you could put them to hang in store shelves. Uh, Kid Chameleon, yeah, you wear different costumes and those different costumes give you different powers. So you could wear like a Jason mask or a samurai mask or a rhino hat, um, all types of stuff. There's this uh, skull tank. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the book, but it does have the cartridge. So I believe that's 18 games on the Sega Genesis. Um, I'm going to be selling them on eBay and it should be, the eBay listing should be good uh, when this video goes up. So I'll be putting them all on eBay and listing them and whatever it sells for it'll sell for I'm putting it at auction I think since there's 18 games I know a lot of these games are worth at least ten dollars or more I personally am trying to get things for my own gaming collection that's not Genesis related I don't play these cartridges anymore I have beaten X mutants I've had a lot of fun with these games but I think it's time for someone else to appreciate them thanks for watching again remember to like and subscribe Stay tuned for more unboxing videos and for videos like this where I might be selling something or showing something off of my collection. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.